Seconds to Mars presents Jared Leto, Shannon Leto, from the new album, It's the End of the World, but it's a beautiful day. to make a video for a competition. I have to go deep into my mind and find a bright idea. I need to describe what happens in my mind when I create something. In my mind, I travel through the art of the past to create the art of the future. In my imagination, locations changed, styles changed, mood changed, but the goal remained to create something beautiful. Boom. My brain is filled with ideas. I think this video is what I need. Secrets that will change their lives forever. Cloudy with a chance of puppies coming soon. of the far future there is only war endless war a galaxy where the emperor's light dims against the encroaching shadows amidst this eternal conflict i stand as a bulwark against the darkness i am kane brax a sergeant of the elite first company a veteran firstborn a terminator in me, the flame of the old ways burns bright. Yet in the shadow of my primary's brethren, our stronger, tougher counterparts, I find myself wanting. First came the whispers of Khorne, the blood god offering power and strength beyond my kin. 
In the fury of battle, his voice is a clarion call. Blood for the blood god it tempts, promising the might to crush my enemies to rise above my limitations, and I in my moments of doubt listen. Slanesh, the prince of pleasure, murmurs of satisfaction beyond the flesh, of victories more intoxicating than any brotherhood. In the ecstasy of combat, I find a seduction not in pleasure, but in the superiority it offers. A lure for a warrior born in an ageless war. Nurgle, the Plague Lord, offers resilience in the face of the galaxy's rot. Where I see my flesh falter, he sees immortality within decay. His is a promise of endurance, to outlast the ephemera of flesh and bone, a perverse solace in the inevitability of ruin, and cinch changer of ways, speaks of knowledge, of paths untrodden. His schemes, intricate and unfathomable, promise a way to outmaneuver fate itself. In his whispers, I find the allure of strategy surpassing brute force, a temptation for the mind. Each god offers what I lack, preying on my fears and desires. Flesh. My steps are cautious, size wide, trying to blend in. In the city on a journey I can't comprehend. I'm from afar, beyond the galaxy's bend. Trying to fit in with a message to send skyscrapers and people. A ceaseless flow, I stand out as a stranger. A freak show, just trying to mimic the earthly flow. But my look is different, maybe I should just go. Walk the streets in the city, so I can This is the plan. Once we get inside the casino, we have to act the security camera. That's where Frankie comes in. Chip, where are you, Chip? Right, right here? Literally right in front of you? Right, so Chip, you're going to distract the guard at the security entrance. Now we've done our homework and we learned that this particular guard is a Vietnam War veteran with extreme PTSD. So what you're going to do is play the song Fortunate Son by Credence Clearwater Revival on a portable speaker. He's right on the edge from what we know. So that should be enough to trigger a flashback and get him off our back. You got that, Jack? I'm gonna do what now? You're gonna play the song with the speaker and then access the control pad to open the... Let's... let's take a step back here. We ain't got time to take a step back, Jack. My name is Chip. Right, Jack. So you're going to have to nick the security guard's key card from his belt while he's having a seizure. He's going to have a seizure? Forgot to mention that bit. The security guard has extra epilepsy. So the flashback should be enough to trigger a catastrophic grandma seizure. He's going to have a seizure and I'm just not going to help him. Exactly, because you're going to be too busy 
plumbing his mother. What? For information. Oh, thank God. She's got the passphrase for the door. Now, we've done our homework on her, too. Oh, no. His mother is a refugee, one of the last living survivors of the 1925 Bardasai Massacre. So you're gonna go in there, dressed up like one of their enforcers, right? And you're gonna intimidate her and get that passphrase out of her, Jack. Nope. Nope, I'm out. トランスしてしまったティナを助けるためには帝国に潜入する必要があったそこで訪れたシドールの街でオペラ歌手マリアの代わりにセリスがオペラに出演することになったセッツァーがセリスを誘拐しそれを追って飛空艇に潜入したそこでセリスは飛空艇をかけた賭けに傘まで勝ちセッツァーの協力を得ることができた飛空艇でガストラ帝国へ渡り魔導研究所に潜入した魔導研究所では玄獣たちから魔導の力を抽出していたが実は玄獣の力は魔石になることで発揮されるのだったセリスが魔力を暴走させることでケフカを道連れにし魔導研究所から脱出することができたティナの元に戻ると魔導研究所から持ち帰った一つの魔石が光を放つそれは。ティナの父マディンの魔石だった厳重と人間のこというティナの出生の秘密が分かりティナは記憶を取り戻すことができた厳重たちに協力を仰ぐために風魔壁を訪れたがその時風魔壁の扉が開き厳重たちが飛び出していったガストラ帝国の首都ベクタは魔導研究所で仲間が殺されたことを知った厳重たちに破壊されてしまった厳獣たちの力を恐れたガストラ皇帝はリターナーに和平を申し入れたさらに厳獣たちとの和解をティナに依頼した帝国に裏があることを疑いつつも一同は厳獣を追って大三角島のサマサの村を訪れたそこで青魔同士のストラゴスとピクトマンサーのリルムと出会った島の西にいた厳獣たちと話をすると厳獣たちも和平を望んでいたところがそこに現れたケフカが厳獣たちを次々に魔石へと変えてしまったそうこれは帝国が厳獣たちを欺くための嘘だったのだガストラ皇帝とケフカは風魔壁の中に入りそこで三頭身の像を手に入れたすると地面が割れ魔大陸が浮かび上がった一同は帝国空軍を撃退しながら飛空艇で魔大陸を追ったケフカはガストラ皇帝を裏切り三頭身の像をずらしてしまうすると魔力の暴走が起こり魔大陸は崩壊し始めた一同は何とか脱出するが暴走した魔力で飛空艇は大破してしまうさらに増幅を続ける魔導の力で大陸すら分断してしまうそしてその日世界は引き裂かれた。